sunny but a bit windy this is a quick view of the outside uh, here are my eight solar panels and this one this actually tour is going to be mainly of the inside and this is the RV as you come in sorry all right okay let's start over here this right here are where my switches. This is an interior light for when I first walk in. And this is the porch light out there, which I replaced. It's a motion sensor um, porch light. That way it goes on and off when it detects motion, which is good if you're boondocking. All right. Um, this is my cab area. I have the chair turned around right now. This is my recycling bin. If whenever I'm stationary um, and this is the captain's chair my GPS uh, my little plants mint and this is where my phone goes and my tablet goes and there's the um, the mount for the GoPro all right well that's the captain's driving area Usually since it's me, I just, I leave this chair swiveled backwards. It's fine. If I was ever to get anybody to come in with me, then I'd probably turn it around. All right, I want to show you an update I did on the bed. As you know, with the beds, they are, usually you sleep sideways. Um, but I found that uncomfortable, and it was just kind of like a cough, well... Yeah, just a coffin, and I mean, it's still a coffin, but I don't know. I like this way better for some strange odd reason. Um, I just bought these eye hooks at um, Home Depot, and this all kind of clasp thing, it Velcros. But, and I installed this door, and this is actually a, an old bedroom wardrobe door that I had. And it was really solid wood and it was really sturdy because all the other things that I used to, wanted to use to extend seem on the flimsy side and not worth messing with. So instead I used this solid wood cabinet door. And here's how it just unhooks. And I actually put this bar on here and I replaced this bar as well too. Because it was a leather, it looked nasty, like it was from the 1980s. So I installed this bar. I also replaced this bar here too. This one was leather too. But I replaced it with the chrome bar. And it's rated for a lot more than those others were. Okay. And anyways, back to the bed. It folds down. And it folds down. And there's my bed. Alright, and there's the ladder. Which actually, surprisingly, oops, this um, did not come with a ladder. Actually, how they expected you to get up into the bed, since the dinette is right by where the bed was, and this is not sticking way out, you actually stepped on this, stepped on the back of this, and then got up into bed. It worked, and I used it for a while. If you go back to the old videos, you can see how it was set up. Um, but yeah, I just set my ladder there and everything's ready to go. It's a uh, queen size. I actually even had, I mean, it's, I don't know if, if you can tell on camera, but there's a lot of room. Actually, enough room for two people, but it's just me, so it's plenty of room. Um, that gave me enough room to do a mini closet on the side and a planter box on this side. And I know I have a hole over there. I found the leak. I was sleeping I was like what is that moisture smell I smell and there was a leak there so I'd rip out the roof and I'm I've got the hole I mean I've got the water stopped so it's not leaking anymore now I just have to cut that out and replace the wood which it's gonna be a later project all right and that's my bed view I'll go ahead and crawl up into the bed oh. I did forget to mention something. Here's a stored thing. 
Let me put this back in. All right. Right here, I have two of these poles actually. I just set those into the, um, the floor and then these screw in. And supports the bed. That way, see? And I installed two of them. This one I always keep in because it's by the cabinet and I use it as a coat rack. Yep, and that's it. That gives me the support. And you just put the ladder there. And I crawl into bed. There's my view from the bed. As you can see, there's plenty of room for two people, but it's just me, so I just kind of lounge. Anyways, I'm going to show you. Ooh, sorry, I think my GoPro is falling off. All right, I'm going to show you the roof access. Oh my God, bright light. <laughs> and there we are. Here are the three. These three right here, they charge the house batteries. And they go into the uh, green and part of which I'll show you later. And these right here are part of the eight that are on the side. Yep, and that's basically the roof. I know. Look, I don't know how that happened, but I gotta get that fixed. The other one has one too. I think they're just getting old and brittle. Right by roof and sun. Alright, I think they're just getting old and brittle. So it's just time to replace them. Oh. And one other thing that I did want to suggest is now I have run my heater but I rarely do it unless it's really cold at night if I run the heater at night I make sure I have something cracked and also I have this vent right here water bottle I have this vent right here and fresh air comes through this vent at all times so and I can shut that vent off but um if I'm gonna do that, I take this down, because you know carbon monoxide is a heavy gas. So what I do is I just set it here. And that way, if there's any carbon monoxide, it's right by it and it'll go off and I've never had it go off. So, and I've slept with it before when it was really cold at night. But if not, it's also a fire alarm. So if I'm not going to bed, it goes there. All right. And if it's not really cold, then my trusty DC or 12 volt electric um, blanket works really well. And what I do, so I just plug it in right there. And see, it turns on. There's a, um, two settings on it. I know some people are like, oh no, electric blanket, but there's two set safety settings on it. This electric blanket will only run for 30 to 45 minutes, and that's it. It's not extended run, um, and, you know, and if I get cold, then I just wake up. If it's a little cold, usually it isn't, but if I get cold, I just untouch this button again, and it resets it for another 30 to 45 minutes, depending on what I've set it for. And I just leave it right there, so that way I just crawl over here and touch the button, and it's good to go. And the electric blanket keeps me really warm. I love that blanket. It's definitely worth the investment. All right, I'm gonna unplug that. So yeah, if the nights are just a bit chilly and not too cold, that's a good investment. So when I'm folding up the bed, the ladder goes inside. My bed is fixed. I fold it up. Make sure the curtains are on this side. All right. And I usually just got this for when I'm driving because that's when I have a problem if it comes forward, see it holds it. So 
because I've had a, it fall down when I was driving, but luckily no one was in here, so it did, I didn't really matter. All right, and this one. All right, carrying on. You've seen the driver area. This is actually a cabinet I added in and move this over. And this is where I store sweaters and stuff. And this is my buddy here, which I have a line running. It goes back behind this cabinet, underneath this cabinet, and then down into a compartment outside where I have a 20 pound um, propane tank uh, that I can replace really easy. And this really keeps me warm. Thank God, I love it. But I used to use the three pound, I believe they're three pound, or whatever, the little canisters that you connect. But those things didn't last nothing at all. I mean, um, I have a light switch here and that's for the closet. So I can cut that on and off. There's also a switch up here, so if I want both lights on, but I usually only have one light on. And yeah, that's it for over here. There's I have a little mirror that pulls out. So if I need to use that, that's my closet. And it's two door. I won't show you what's in there. Over here. I have my drawers. Oh, I guess I shouldn't open this. These are my bras and stuff. Alright, um, yeah, these are my underwear drawers, my sock drawers, my bra drawers. And I can close this up if I need be. That covers the closet. And ta-da, closet covered. Alright, and... Alright, moving on. This is my little wall that I decorated. I bought these, um, these round mirrors, actually. They were either candle holders or little cup holders. Um, but anyways, I just put them on the thing. They were a dollar a piece. So I just glued them onto the wall. It's just my taste and something decorative. I know it's not for everybody, but it's my RV. I got to live in it, so I'm going to make it my own. This is my bathroom. Homes is where the happiest memories are made, and I'm not talking about in the bathroom. <laughs> weird I put that on the bathroom door okay anyways oops socks it's my bathroom it's small but it's doable hold on I'll move this all right this is my shower I've got hooks everywhere because I do dry stuff in my shower I've got hooks up here so if I need to dry anything because I do actually just wash stuff in the sink it's easy if I wear it like and then I just um, at night, I throw it in the sink and wash it and then hang it up and it dries and that's how I wash clothes. Um, yeah, I replaced the shower head. It's the, the aerated one. I got this on eBay as well as this. Let's see. Mm. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. And there is a light in here, just in case it gets dark. Actually, I need to replace that bulb. I think it's about going out. All right. But, yep, that's the shower area. And I've got a squeegee down here, just in case I'm in unlevel territory. I can squeegee out. All right. And so I'm not in the shower. It needs to go right here. Alright, and that is my toilet area. Composting and shower. I guess I can go ahead and open the window, add some light into here. And this also I want to talk about is um, a bar. It had one of those plastic things in here. But this is actually a support bar. Yeah, it, um, so that way if you're getting off the toilet, you have a bar to grab onto. Um, and then it has the little toilet holder. I installed that and I did replace all these lights all these lights that you see they were the old crappy lights and I replaced every single one so they were I need to replace some of these bulbs certain bulbs that I get they don't last long and they're supposed to be LED and last forever but yeah I, I replaced all these bulbs all right and then now we're to the entertainment center 
This is my 360, and I'll turn this on. And this is a 50 inch Hisense um, TV. It's on. Is it oh, maybe it's not plugged in, it's not plugged in. I try not to keep things plugged in. That way when I cut it on, there it's on now. That's for, hold on. Where are you at? I probably should organize this just a bit better. Oh, here you are. And this is also where I um, do a lot of uh, battery charging. This is for um, these batteries. I've got two of these and it's for my drill. So if I have to do any, um, if I have to do anything, repairs or anything, I have that drill and an extra battery. Um, my 360 and this is an extra uh, charging thing for my battery phone and the rechargeable batteries. I didn't use this one as much but because um, I have another uh, charging area where I use a lot of my other equipment. I'm just going to go ahead and plug you, this up and show you really quickly. Go ahead and cut on my 360. Where's my remote? It's probably on top. It is. Alright, this is my entertainment library, which is on a hard drive, and it just has all my, oops, sorry, it has all my stuff on here, my movies, my TV, it's all on a hard drive, transferred everything over to a hard drive, because honestly, things are just, you don't want to have to carry a lot of things, and this is a lot of smaller than having to carry DVDs and stuff, so all my stuff is on here. And I have downloads as well. And anyways, um, let's change the input. All right, and here's my 360. Oh, let me cut my remote on. And that's me. I just sign in. All right, and then I can play my game. Easy peasy. So yeah, I can play video games. I have tons of video games. I don't ever get rid of my video games, so I have so many video games that I play. And you know, it's fun to if you haven't played something in a while that you can play it again. I actually have Mass Effect one, two, and three that I'm working on right now. But anyways. And then um, I just go to High Smart. I'm gonna cut this off. All right, and video. That way I can change and go to videos, and and I can watch one of my. This is how I just go to my movies. And this is all my converted movie. Oops, sorry go to all. Alright, movies. Alright, and then I just pick up the movie. I have some, I like, every 300 movies. So, these are all my converted movies. And then anyways, that's that. It's so much easier storing your um, movies on and your sh um, TV shows on a hard drive and your music on a hard drive than having to than having to, um, carry around all those DVDs and stuff so this might be an option for you all right off goes that I can play music on the TV whatever I want and to cut off um, the inverter is actually this is, I bought a remote and installed it onto the inverter and put it here so I just cut this off and that cuts everything down put my remote up turn the power off Come on. There we go. That's easy enough. All right. So that's all off. All right. And this is the sofa area. And underneath here is a battery bank. I'll show you a quick clip of it. Alright, and that was my battery bank that I installed. Um, 
And this is my sofa. It was just, it was like a 1980s sofa. So, I know, like I said, this isn't for everybody's taste, but it's really comfy. And I love fur. And, well, it's fake fur. I wouldn't use real fur. Um, and my soft pillows. And I've even slept on this. And actually, there's leather under here. This blanket usually, or this comforter usually isn't on here. But I've used this, um, like when I'm in traveling mode. I don't always sleep up there. I sleep down here. It's just easier. Um, right. And this is my medicine cabinet. I keep all my toothbrush and all that stuff up there. Getting ready stuff. You've already seen the entertainment part. Um, this is where I keep all my day clothes. I know, y'all, I have a lot of clothes. Talking about security systems, oh yeah, let me talk, I didn't even talk about my security system. Um, it's Alfred, and this is where the main hub is, and this is what, where the main, so this is the camera that watches the whole RV, and if I'm near Wi-Fi, then I can set up multiple multiple cameras like I said in my video just watch my um, security video but I can um, set up multiple cameras and this one is the main camera and this one was a 20 uh, this one only cost me $25 a month through Virgin Mobile and I've had this phone forever and you know $25 is cheap for security so I just use this phone right here for security when I'm not in here I can view I can talk I can hear sound I can take pictures and you know it just helps so and the app that I use actually let me cut it on all right uh, we'll do that later the app I use is Alfred and I bring that up and you'll have to have a Google account and see it just failed but the reason why I pay $25 a month so that way this always the phone is always on I don't have to wor worry about I have one one thing that's always on whether I'm near Wi-Fi but I've been thinking about getting a hotspot so if I do then I might not have to worry about that but yeah see and you can see it shows you what's going that they're, they're showing you and see, I set the motion detection. It'll start in 11, 10 seconds. So that way, if it has any um, motion, it, it sends me alerts and lets me know there's motion in your RV. And I can check and see what's going on. So, anyways, right now, yep. See, you can see my fingers. But um, I turn that this way. And that way I can see the whole RV. Let's see. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, see? You can see the RV. Alright. Oh, sorry. Alright, let's go back there. Okay, th that's turned off. And this is also... Uh, it's being difficult. Sorry. Alright, this is also my uh, Panda line, which this is, that's a name of my RV is Panda. Um, so, uh, this is mainly just for the Panda, so I always have a phone in the Panda. Because I have a, a cell phone that I carry with me, and that's what I use. I also have Alfred installed in that one, and on this one, and that's what I use them together, and I can see... All right, well, that was my security system. Also, locks, locks, locks. Good security. Lock your cabinets. It makes it harder for people to get in. They'll really have to work, and if they're gonna work, they better work for it. All right. I also wanted to show you, these are the storage cabinets. I have a video on this that I installed, and here's my tow vehicle. And that's where I store a hose. I don't ever use it though. Um, gas, water inlet. This is for the potable water. This goes into the fresh tank. A 30 outlet, or a 30 amp outlet. And this is the propane. The main RV. 
And in here is the 20 pound tank. Let me open it up. The tank that I was talking about earlier. And I'm still good. I, I put a gauge on here. That way I know how much propane I have left and I'm still in the green so I'm good. Like I said, this propane thing, this is just for the Mr. Buddy and this is just for the heat. Um, the hose that I used, they do have a hose where you don't have to have a, a fuel filter added onto it, but it's really stiff and hard to work with. And I knew I was gonna go wanting to go around bends. So I got the one that's flexible. I just added a fuel filter to it and then I don't have to worry about it. And um yeah, that's my heating, that's my heating source because I just found that I know the wind is probably loud. internal furnace it sucks down the heat I mean it sucks down the gas and this is the furnace here which I do not use but I am actually because it's so inefficient because of this old thing but I'm going to replace this with a more updated digital one and it that way it'll be I can use this one if I'm sleeping that one when I'm awake and this one when I'm sleeping because this one's a lot safer and um, and it, it shuts on and off. So that one does not shut on and off. It's just always on. So if it gets hot. But anyways, I can set this one to a temperature and along with my electric blanket. But I, before I start using it, I do want to put a digital one in here. And I'll let y'all see what I do when I um, install the digital uh, thermostat. Alright, little cup holder. Okie dokie.